con in sight around fresh water and even brackish water is the great blue heron. And the great blue heron is a bird that will migrate. Of course, they'll migrate uh, when the water freezes over because their primary food is fish. And this bird that we see right along this stalk right here is just looking down into the water to see if there's easy prey that it can get. And they will just walk along slowly when they're actually in the water and use that sharp, sharp bill that they have to catch fish and oftentimes to make sure that they swallow them head first, they'll catch them, throw them up in the air, and they'll swallow them head first so that they don't get caught in their throat, that is the dorsal fins of the spiny fish, such as the bluegill and the crappie. These birds are colonial nesters, meaning that they will form rookeries which, which, with as many as a hundred nests, and I've been in rookeries that I have been as big as 75 nests, and you really know when you're in a heron rookery, you can tell when you're approaching it, especially if you're downwind, by the smell, because they will catch fish, partially digest them, when they're along the waterways then they will f fly up into the large trees where they place their nests and they actually will regurgitate the partially digested food into uh, the mouths of their waiting young. These birds have a wingspan of about six feet and they stand when they're all stretched out as much as four feet. Now this guy's getting nervous because I'm starting to get fairly close to them. Of course, it sees me, and then it will fly, and you'll get to see those amazing wings that they have. And off they go to find another perch. So they can feed and bulk up for winter, as they do. Hey, this is Moe's. If you enjoyed this little segment on nature, sign up for my subscription. And every time I publish a new video, you'll be one of the first ones to get it. Thank you, and may Jesus bless you and your family.